Let's jump off on that question, talk about the surplus. Just very quickly, maybe um, other members of the panel may have some other ideas. I'll go to you, Senator, quickly, and then we'll go around the table on the, on the gas tax. One on thing we surplus. have to be honest about is the $1.3 billion surplus is not a surplus until the end of the biennium. So really, it is a prediction of how much the collections will exceed the expenses for the next two years. And that number is based on what happens on, Jan on June 30th of 2021. So it is not something you run out and spend today. And in fact, it can change greatly in the next forecast. It can go away completely. And also, we ha have to remember that we do not use inflation in the state budget. It's not included. There's a number that the um, MMB does put onto the, the forecast, but it is still a, for a forecast surplus. It is not money in the bank. There, I mean, right now, we do have that 30%, that, that rule that we put 30% into the rainy day fund, and that comes off of the top, and it's based on that forecast from uh, November. But if that goes down, now we still have that amount of money that is supposed to be put into the uh, into the rainy day fund. So I don't, I don't favor running out and spending it now. Uh, I think that's really uh, risky. Um, and I think what we need to do is we need to look at the, you know, we always base the budget on the February forecast, and that's what the supplemental will do. And it, it could go down. I, I'm hoping it doesn't, but it could. Uh, Representative, uh, your thoughts on that surplus very quickly? So I, I'm sort of in that same league as don't spend your money before you have it. And um, I've heard the stories about uh, the need to consider inflation in there. So I would um, personally or you know, think of it as uh, n not really think of using it right now and, until we know exactly what we've got to work with. Perhaps have some um, plans to to address it if there in, is indeed that kind of a, a surplus at the end. It's kind of a fun number to play with and think about all the things you can do. I mean, sometimes you get a windfall and you think, oh, I think we could do this, we could do that, and we can do this, and we can do that, we can go here, um, we can buy that. But at the end of the day, once you take care of all of the necessities, too often there's just not that surplus left. So I would be more, um, more careful not to make any big plans, but if it is, then I would um, certainly hope that we are looking at, at making sure that our bridges and our, our buildings and our roads are in good uh, place, but also look um, in other ways to spur economic development in some of the areas throughout our, our state where folks are really suffering. I'm thinking Rep agriculturally. Representative yeah, sure. Nash, your thoughts on that? In yeah. the limited time we have left, uh, we have able to Very this. quickly. Our economy is firing on every cylinder. Mm -hmm. We've got a tremendous economy going. Unemployment is at a record low. So I don't envision us having a problem with this. But if we're going to look at some ideas, roads and bridges, obviously, we, we've talked about that. That's critical. Um, I've always found a way to slip cybersecurity into a conversation, <laughs> so I'm going to do it again. Um, uh, that's what I do for a living. I work for a local company here in the <clears throat> Twin Cities, and uh, I am very concerned about our state. Mm -hmm. and. Um, we need to put more money into cybersecurity. We are the, the, share, the caretakers of millions of records, and we need to put more into that.